everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and welcome to today's Saturday with Stacy, YouTube class number 529 premiering on Small Business Saturday and hello small business right here, independent mom and pop shop. <laughs> I hope you all had the most amazing Thanksgiving, whether it was you and your fur baby or you and a hundred other people. However you spent it, I hope it was just wonderful, filled with family and love and friends and fur babies and good food and, and, and just all of it rolled up into a nice happy Thanksgiving package. It is Thanksgiving today. I am taping this on Thanksgiving while our turkey cooks. I am the one responsible for the turkey, so I am watching my my clock. <laughs> I know that I am on a limited amount of time. Michael is doing the basting, but I'm responsible for getting it in and getting it out and the stuffing and the, and the all of that. So today, today I'm I, I'm I'm gonna just roll with the punches and hopefully I make it home on time to get it out so the bird's not dry. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Now, if this is your first time joining me, hi, I'm Stacy. I'm the owner of Scrapbooking Made Simple, and I teach YouTube classes on crafting that are technique-based, they are full length, they are commercial free, and they are meant to encourage you and inspire you and show you that you can do it. And today, today is no different. I have the most amazing bundle for you. It's over $75 worth of product for $14.99. I always want to say $19.99 because of our Make It Mondays, but today it's $14.99. So if you love Sizzix, if you love Tim Holtz, if you love Ranger, you're going to love this bundle. And if you don't know what any of that is, for $14.99, this is a great way to start crafting. Absolutely. I was going to say for sure. <laughs> So I have winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about before I get started today. And I will tell you that this, this YouTube almost didn't happen. It almost didn't happen. I've had some of this product for over a year. For over a year. It's been sitting here waiting for the perfect coordinating product to go with it. But I almost didn't get that product. There was an assumption made. And well, you know what happens when, when people make assumptions, right? But there was an assumption made. And it took me back to a story about my dad, something I, that happened with, with my dad. And, and I wanna share that story with you. So if you are watching this during the premiere, unfortunately, you won't be able to fast forward through my story. You will have to listen. <laughs> <laughs> or you can come back in about a half an hour and then you'll be able to go bzzz, that's my fast forward, bzzz, fast forward right through my story until I tilt on down and when I tilt on down, that's when you know class has begun. So let me do winner winner chicken dinner first because these people have won a $25 gift card from Scrapbooking Made Simple. It is already in their online account and today, well, today $25 really means $75 if you got the bundle. Wow, right? It's not It's not really a $25 gift card, it's more like a $75 gift card because that's the value of the bundle I have for you today. Our first winner winner is Joanne. Joanne Sanchez. Hello, Joanne Sanchez, how are you? Congratulations to you, wahoo, could you? You are a winner winner chicken dinner and your money is already in your online account. But you're not alone. Our second winner is Andrea. Andrea Hummel. Congratulations, Andrea Hummel. You too are a winner, winner chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And $25 is already in your online account. I'm happy for both of you. I hope you enjoy your winnings. And we have to do the winner, winner chicken dinner dance for you, right? So stand up. Come on, ladies, stand up. <laughs> Or sit down, but stand up sure, sit up straight. Are you ready? <laughs> You're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Cut you for you. Congratulations to the both of you. I hope you enjoy your winnings and spend them on anything that makes your heart happy. Now, if you want a chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner, it's so simple. All you have to do is post a comment below. <laughs> 
below me, there's a place to leave a comment. Live chat comments don't count. So if you're watching this during the premiere of our Saturday with Stacy classes, 8 a.m. Sunday California time, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom. We are live chatting, and I'd love for you to say hello, hello, and where you're from, and we'll say hello back. But those comments don't count to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You just have to leave it below, and my son, SMS guy James, will uh, he'll approve them eventually, not today, not tomorrow, but he'll approve them because he weeds out all the spam stuff, and once your comment is approved, then you go into the running to be a winner, winner, and you just never know when I'm going to call your name. But if you don't post, I will never call your name. <laughs> Now today, today the bundle, and there's actually two bundles. The, the first bundle is simply amazing. It retails for, is it $74.94, $75.94? It's one of them for $14.99. It is an amazing value. The second bundle, the second bundle is the leftover bundle. And you may want that too because it's over $40, $42 worth of product for $5.99. And I'm going to walk you through them. I'm going to show you everything that comes in it, and then we're going to play with it so you can see how to use it and make that decision, oh my gosh, yes, this is for me. I can't wait to get these. Or no, I don't know if I want these. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and, 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 and let it come to me whether I need this or not. The decision is up to you. But these bundles almost didn't happen, at least one of them almost didn't happen, and it was all based off of an assumption. I've been, I, I purchased the Sizzix product over a year ago. Sometimes I will do that when a deal comes along that is too good for me to say no to, even though I don't know exactly when I'm going to use it, I'll buy it and I'll hold it until I find the perfect product for it to go with. And that kind of is like the YouTube I did with Crafter's Companion and Creative Expressions. Creative Expressions had done these beautiful fairy dies. Jamie Rogers had done them, but I didn't have the, any good coordinating product to go with it. Lo and behold, Crafter's Companion did a paper collection called Bella Luna. Now, Crafter's Companion did not know about the Jamie Rogers fairy dies, and Jamie Rogers fairy dies from Creative Expressions did not know about the Crafter's Companion Bella Luna. But they paired so beautifully together that when I saw them, I knew they were a match made in heaven. And that's kind of how this bundle came together. Almost didn't come together. And that takes me to my dad's story. So... You know that my both of my parents have have passed and and that I took care of my parents up to the, the, the I was with them all the way. I mean, they they lived with us, <laughs> divorced, lived with us, same bedroom, whole YouTube with that story. Don't ask. Yes, my parents divorced. And when they had to come live with me, I put them in the same bedroom, same bed. But they fell back in love with each other. It was it was amazing. But anyway, this takes me back to when my dad was a football coach. I have two sisters and a brother who are substantially older than I am. By the time I was maybe seven years old, eight years old, they were all out of the house, on their way, living their life, going to college, married, one of them. So I am substantially younger and that almost made me like an only child with my parents. So I was very, very close with, with both of them. My dad, my dad was the rough around the edges dad who had really high expectations of his youngest daughter me and and so when i was younger my dad being that he only had one boy they played football my my brother played pop warner football he played high school football my dad coached pop warner my dad coached high school my brother was the captain of the football team and it was a family event meaning my sisters were the stat girls and the water girls my mom was the team mom and at five years old i was dressed in a canyon high school little mini cheerleader outfit out there with the cheerleaders doing you know rah 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 shish boom ba and and it was a whole family event now my dad was very hmm, i guess today the word would be inclusive 
That would probably be the best word. My dad wanted anybody who wanted to be able to play football to play football. And this was when my brother was in high school. And for those of you who are parents or grandparents and you've had kids in school programs, whether it be band or cheerleading or, or a sports program, you know that there's a cost to it. Not just a time cost, but a monetary cost where there's uniforms and there's travel and all sorts of incidentals that come up. And sometimes that makes it impossible for some students to participate in things that they want to do. And that was not my dad. My dad, if you wanted to play football, he was gonna make sure you played football. My dad eventually, well, my brother eventually was the team captain for Canyon High School his senior year. And my dad coached with Mr. Bateman. And my dad wasn't the only coach of the football team. Like I said, Mr. Bateman was a coach, but my dad, he wasn't the one that, that designed the plays. He was the one that took care of the, the team. He was the one that made sure that your ankles were taped up and that if you needed to see a doctor, you got to see the doctor and that if your uniform was torn, well, he made sure it was sewn up. He, he was out there running up and down the field with the best of them, but my dad really oversaw the players. So I remember going with my dad to a uniform store. They didn't have stores like Dick's back then, but I, I remember going with my dad to a uniform store. And my dad wasn't there to buy anything. He was there to make a list of things that the parents would need to buy so their sons could participate in football. And you always had a practice uniform and you had a, a game day uniform. And those weren't free. You had to pay for them. And again, by having those costs, some parents wouldn't be able to allow their children to play on the football team. And that just drove my dad crazy because if you had the drive and you had the will, you should have the opportunity. So I'm at this I'm at this uniform store and I am young and he's not there to buy anything. He's there to make a list and he is looking at the the football pants and uh, jerseys for practice practice jerseys and most most high schools get them in the school colors. So even their even their practice um, uniform <laughs> was in team was in team colors or school colors. So my dad's there and he's been there before and he's done this and he's making his list because then that gets given to the parents so the parents can see what it's going to cost. And he's talking to the guy and he sees that there's this pile of boxes off to the side. And my dad being my dad who talked to everybody and was as curious as a cat, would he, he asked, what are those? I would do the same. I am my father's daughter. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> ask any manufacturer they will tell you I will ask what are those and uh, and the guy said oh those are seconds and rejects where the printing didn't come off right or the colors were wrong or they're offsized and my dad said hmm and the guy's showing him and you can have this style and you can have that style and and we have this many in stock and you know if you need to order them and my dad keeps looking at that pile and i am young and i really don't have full understanding of why my dad is looking at this pile i just know that scooby-doo is going to be on soon and i wanted to go home <laughs> i wanted to go home <laughs> and my dad looked at the pile of the boxes again and he goes can i see that and he goes it, the guy goes you're not going to want it it's it, it come on now let's just let's write up your list so that we, you know because you're not going to want that it's it's seconds it's extras it's it's product that was printed wrong and my dad said i'd really like to see that and and the sales guy is assuming that my dad that my dad has no he has no right to even be interested in it. it it was annoying my father i could tell you that much that i do remember even from a little child you remember when your parents were slightly annoyed whether with you or somebody else and the salesperson just kept assuming that my dad would be wasting his time by showing him this this 
overrun extra seconds product. And finally, my dad said, is that for sale? <laughs> and I think that's what perked up the guy's ears because I have a feeling that they were just going to toss it out. And my dad finally said, is that for sale? If, if it's for sale, can I look at it? And finally, he takes them over and they're undoing the boxes and there's jerseys in there and there's the football pants in there that have the, you know, they tie up and there's mismatched colors and it's just a hop, just a mess of whatever. But there's a lot of it. There was a lot of it. And my dad said, okay, how much for all of it? And the guy's going, what? How, and my dad, how, how much do you want for all of it? And they negotiated. I know my dad negotiated hard because I negotiate hard. And the next thing I know, we're loading, not me, but they're loading up my dad's pickup truck. He had this old Toyota pickup truck that he bought for $6,700 when you could still get a pickup truck for $6,700. And I remember them loading box after box and the boxes are cardboard and they're kind of like misshapen and 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 folded over on the top there and it was just a it was a mess and I remember that I couldn't sit in the back of the bed to drive home because all of this stuff was back there that tells you how long ago this was I was still allowed and my father let me sit in the bed of the pickup truck to drive home but I couldn't because there was all of these boxes so he pulls up to our home and mind you, my parents were not wealthy. We were middle class at best. My dad sold life insurance. He had four kids to take care of. They had a house. We lived, we lived, I didn't know that we didn't have a lot. So as far as I'm concerned, we were, we were kings of the castle. I never knew that we didn't have a lot. And that's probably, that's a testament to my parents, but he pulls up, my mom, he opens the garage because we don't have a garage door opener. We had to lift that garage door. He opens up the garage. My mom comes out, sees what's in the back of his pickup truck and loses her mind. Loses her mind. What is all of this? And my dad said, don't worry, it'll be gone in a month. A uh, month, what did you buy, Dale? What did you buy? That was my dad's name, Dale. And he's like, don't worry, it's okay. So they unload it, which made my mother very unhappy because it meant her Volkswagen square back couldn't be parked in the garage. And it sat there until football practice started. And football practice starts in the summer for what they call hell week. And the kids run and run and they, I mean, it's, it's a brutal week, but that's where football practice starts in the summer and the season starts in the fall. And Again, my mom, team mom, my sisters were the water girls and the stat girls. I was the, the mascot for Canyon High at the time. And I went to football practice. We all went to football practice every day, all of us. <laughs> and I remember the first day coming and a ton of boys come down and they all are interested in playing football and my dad knows that some of them will not be able to because of finances. It's the same whether you're in band or you're a cheerleader. It comes down to whether you can afford the sport or the, the extracurricular or not. So they're handing out, they're talking to the boys and they're explaining the costs and how they need to go home and have their parents write a check. And my dad's got the list of what they're going to need to pay for. And, and I, I, you know, I, I do, I so remember that my dad was just, he just wanted anybody who wanted the opportunity to play to play. So as they're talking, my dad says, okay, and this year it's a little different. This year, you don't have to buy your practice your practice clothes. And I, I know Mr. Bateman kind of looked around at my dad and said, this year you don't have to buy your practice clothes. Now, most high school football teams, even their practice uniforms are in the team colors, but my dad didn't care about that. He didn't care about that at all. He just wanted kids to play. 
And so he made the decision to buy all those mismatched seconds, misprinted discards and give them, give them to the team so that it would alleviate a little bit of burden and kids who couldn't have afforded both, maybe they can swing just the game day uniform. And I'll tell you, even if they couldn't, my dad would step up. I'm, I'm just, that's, that's who my dad was. And so, so it almost didn't happen though. That, that benefit that my dad brought to that team. Now, mind you, they were the missed, <laughs> I mean, mismatched team practice, but really does that matter? It's a practice uniform. And the fact that the kids, the parents didn't have to pay for them. I am positive took some of the burden off of them, but it might not have happened because that salesperson didn't want to show my dad. He assumed that my dad, a football coach, would want nothing to do with that because it was all about the right pants and the right shirt in the school colors and, and it was also about making money. You know, not a lot of money selling off the seconds, a lot more money selling the firsts and having all the parents write a check to get that you know, that practice uniform. So, so with this YouTube, it was almost the same assumption. I had purchased the product from Sizzix a year ago, not knowing what I was going to do with it, holding it because I knew that there was a reason for it. But then this other product came along and there was assumptions, assumptions made that I might not want it that I might not be interested in it because, well, we don't carry it as a normal thing. Oh, wait, hello, of course I'm interested in it because when I put this with that, it makes magic. Now, these crayons, they, I, they didn't know that I had this Tim Holtz stuff from Sizzix and Sizzix, you know, didn't know that I, that the, the, these crayons became available. Nobody knew, but I knew. And the fact that there was an opportunity to put them together, but an assumption made that I may not want them, that I wouldn't want them because I don't carry them as a regular item, almost meant that this didn't happen. But I remember my dad keep pestering, what's in those boxes? And I kept pestering and it took me months to get this deal done, months. And once they realized I was serious, then I went in hard for the negotiation. <laughs> and I am thrilled to be able to bring this to you. But it's those lessons from my dad that Every now and then they just creep back up into, into my today life and things that I had forgotten about all of a sudden are standing or, or right there in front of my face staring at me saying, hey, remember? So today is a good day. It's, it's a good day for crafters. It's a good day for me because I got to have a moment reflecting on my dad. It's, it's a good day for hopefully the manufacturers because we bought all they had. <laughs> and I'm hoping if you are a crafter, whether you be a newbie or somebody who's been doing it forever, you see the value in one, never assuming, and two, the bundles that we have for you today. My dad would not leave until he saw what was in those boxes. And then he made magic for kids who might not have been able to be on the football team all those years ago. I'm hoping to make a little magic for you today in honor of my dad. So I'm going to tilt down and I'm going to get started. I'm going to walk you through the product. I'm going to walk you through the product and then we're going to play. Are you ready? Me too. All right. Put on my glasses, see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's good to see everybody today. All right. So 
Yeah. So I don't know if that is whether that video that that story was for me to make my heart happy or if it was for you or if it was for manufacturers that we do business with. Don't don't assume it never works out. <laughs> All right. So the first two items in the bundle are from Sizzix. They were originally done for Michaels. They are Tim Holtz products. You have the dies for the doggies and the cats. You have the stamps for the dogs and the cats. And then you have an embossing folder that can be used for anything. So the stamps to go with the dies and then the embossing folder that can be used for anything. Then I have the stamps to go with the dies for the little kitties. So cute. And the embossing folder, which again, can be used for anything. These retailed for $19.99 at Michael's. So we have $40 right there. Then I have from Ranger, Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. These are pearlescent. There's three per pack. I have four packs of them. They retail for $9, $9, so or $8.99, so here's $36, $56, dollars worth of product for $14.99. This is the bundle today. One of the bundles, I have one more. This will be shipping beginning on Monday. If you have a qualifying order that allows us to expedite ship your order to you, we are going to start pulling and shipping those orders on Monday. The product is here. It is ready to go. We have nothing impeding us. I think the store is going to be slow. So if the store is slow, we are going to pull these orders and get these out to you as fast as possible. You're going to get all 12 crayons, distressed crayons, and you're going to get both sets of the dies, the stamps, and the embossing folders for $14.99. Not $76, $75, somewhere in that range. The second bundle I have for you is well, I guess I can keep this one here. The second bundle I have for you is our leftovers bundle. When I bought the dogs, there were a whole lot more of them than the cats. So I have more of these to sell. And I thought, what can I pair them with that would make them an amazing value? Well, how about Tim's mischievous cats? That way you still get a dog and cat bundle. It retails for almost $43 for the two. This is $22.99, this is $19.99. So almost $43. Your price for both of them is $5.99. That means if you need to get a gift for somebody, if you need to get a gift for two people, for $3 each, you've got an amazing gift for two different people. For $6, You've got an amazing gift for one person, maybe even yourself. You may just want the mischievous cats and the first bundle I have for you. And you'll end up with two dog sets, but well, you can stamp and double cut. You can run more through your big shot machine if you've got two sets because just the mischievous is worth $22.99. Or you buy the mischievous and you give this one away. But for $5.99, this is a value. We leave it up to you to choose which you want or you may not want any of them. The Tim Holtz crayons, his distress crayons. If you already own them, well then here's a chance to add another one to your collection so when you use up your first set, here you've got another set ready to go and if you've never played with them before for $14, it's 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 like buying two and getting everything else for free. <laughs> this is your opportunity. And again, if you have a qualifying order, it will start to ship on Monday. I don't know how many orders we're going to get. We do have a limited stock on both. 
So I, I don't know if it's gonna sell out. I don't know if it's not gonna sell out. I'm hoping I have enough to meet everybody's requirements. That is my goal. But just like my dad, this will allow people to craft who might not have been able to afford it. $75 worth of product may have been out of their budget forever, but $14.99, hmm, maybe that, maybe that allows them to have something new in their crafty stash that they would have never had before. It allows them to play. So let's get started, all right? Okay. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with the crayons. And I think I'm going to show you the colors so you can see what we're working with. And I've got them all right here. And I think I'm just going to go in and do some colors. So just so you can see them. This one is our fortune teller. It's a purple. I really just want you to be able to see the colors and the crayon you twist the bottom and the crayon comes up it is considered a consumable so at some point you will have used all of it here I've got winter frost it is a water-based crayon this is shiny bauble Ooh, I like shiny bauble Now you don't have to choose which color. You're going to get all of them. There's no open stock. There's no opportunity to just buy the crayons and not buy the dyes. It's either $14.99 or you pass. This is fresh balsam. And I know Tim has oodles. This one is Mary Mint. He has oodles of videos on how to use these. I may use them in a way he doesn't. He probably uses them in a dozen different ways that I'm not going to show you, but you have lots of opportunity to watch videos on how to use them. Cocktail party. These are all a pearlescent finish. This one is, ooh, decay. This one must be from Halloween. It's kind of a gold. I don't know that I'd call it decay, but, and here we have Harvest Moon. So two of the sets are from a Christmas launch and two of them are from a Halloween launch. And then we go into Wicked Elixir. And we go into Burning Ember. And then front, or what is it? Iron Gate. Kind of a silvery. And because it has that pearlescent finish to it. And the last one is Tart Cranberry. So these are the 12 colors you're going to get in the bundle. And you don't have to pick and choose. You're going to get all of them. Now, how do the crayons work? Well, quite often people will use the crayons and they will perhaps color with them a little bit on something and then they'll use their finger and they'll smudge it out. And that's definitely one way to do them. You could maybe mix in another little color somewhere and take your finger and smudge. Because they are that, it's kind of a, uh, it's, it's kind of a, hmm, I don't want to say it's a wax base because they're water soluble, but they move fairly easily. However, when you use them just as a just as a crayon, if you just color with them, they very much have a crayon look to them. Let me zoom in a little bit more. 
So when I'm just using them, they very much have a crayon look to them. You do have to, if you want to get rid of that look, either smudge, you have to do something so that it doesn't look so much like a crayon. For me, I have found the easiest thing to do to smudge them is to use a Fantastics blending stub. This is a, a Fantastics blending stub by Sukuniko, and it's got this, it's not really a foam. I can't tell you exactly what it's made of, and they wouldn't tell me. I tried. But you have one of these for every color family, and it really makes the smudging a little bit easier. So if I were to come in here like this, and I wanted to make sure that it doesn't look so much like a crayon, I don't have to press hard at all, and I can get it to look the same, only without having to get my fingers dirty or get in there and smudge. Let's grab a different color. Let's grab the red. So if I was to come in, and do this, while I don't want it to look so much like a crayon, I can come in here. It's almost like you're adding Gamsol, what we do with colored paper, or colored pencils, and I can smudge it out so that it softens the look from a crayon to a more blended finish. They are super easy to use, really, really simple to use, and you can color just about anything you want with them. Is this my orange? No, that's my red, right? Yeah, that's my red. So let's do maybe some orange. So I can either take my finger and smudge, or I can take my tool and blend. Really is up to me. And if I want to add more, I can come in and add more. And I can blend that in. So I like the little fantastic sticks or my finger. It really just depends upon what you prefer. But this isn't the only way to use them. There's many, many different ways to use them. Um, let's take a, let's take one of our stamps. I'm gonna use the kitty cats. So if I wanted to do the smudge technique on a stamped image, let's grab him and a block. And my gush pad. So I just need a small block because he's a small little stamp. And I'm going to stamp my kitty cat a couple times. and I'm gonna smudge it. So the ink that I wanna use is something that is not gonna move with water. I have the Jacquard Waterproof Black Dye Based Ink. It is a strong black and you can use it with your alcohol ink markers, you can use it with the Tim Holtz crayons, you can use it with Marabou crayons. Can you mix Tim Holtz with Marabou crayons? Absolutely, you're now going by color. I think you'll probably find that the marabou are a little more creamy, but it's not going to um, it's not going to dissuade you from fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents on the tim. You'll just have more colors to play with, and that's always fun. So I'm going to go one. You know what? I'm going to stamp them a couple times. Two, three. Four. There, I've stamped my kitty four times. And you can see he makes a really nice impression. 
and that ink is just perfect with it. Now I could go in and I could add water and color and paint, but I think I am gonna stick kind of with my smudging. And what color do I wanna make him? Do I wanna make him my orange? Okay, we'll do some orange. So, because of the type of product this is, you do have to give your, your little kitty cat a second to dry. If I go too fast and he's not fully dry, and I start to add some of my crayon to him, my black may pick up and bleed a little bit because of the type of product this is. If I was using water over the top of him, he's good to go right now. But because of the product I'm using, it may take a little bit of, it may take a second or two for him to dry. But I can go in there and add some color and then I can smudge him out. And just use my little stick, almost like it's a paintbrush. And if I don't want to put it directly onto my little kitty cat, I can also pick it up directly from my tip. Now he didn't smudge bad at all. He kind of, the black was dry enough that he didn't smudge at all. So let's do him again over here. And this time I think I am going to pick it up straight from my tip, just a little bit on my little blending. And then I can go in there and color away. And I want a little bit of a highlight. I want a little bit of a shadow. And by taking it straight from my, and it doesn't take much, straight from my crayon, I have an opportunity to really decide how much color I'm putting down and where I'm putting that color down. All right, so I've got him. So I've left his body a little darker underneath, a little lighter on top, but I can go back in and pick up that color and I can even make him darker underneath if I want, if I want even more of a shadow. I can go in and add just a little bit and draw it in and then move it out. And do his little feet. So if I wanna have shading and shadow, I have that opportunity. And I find it easier to pull straight from straight from my crayon. And I don't have to push too hard. Now I do have blending tips that are not so stubby that I could get in there to do the detail with. And it's just super easy. So if you're not good at coloring, 
Crayons are always an easy way because they're not really a crayon like a Crayola crayon, they're an art crayon. And I can just get him all done. And he's easy to color. Let's do him in another color. How about Hmm, how about the green? All right, I'm gonna grab a green and I'm gonna do them again in the green. Pick up, come in, and just start to lay that color down and blend it up. See how I just laid the color down at the bottom and blended it up straight from the crayon. So it would be hard to go in here and smudge this with your finger because you're trying to shade and shadow but with the Fantastics, it makes it super easy and super fast. And I've got some highlight going on. And then I could take, let's do his little face. And I could take a, more of a pointy one to get in there for the fine areas. But remember, we have the dyes to go with this. So if we accidentally go out of the lines, not the end of the world, because we have the coordinating die. They are just that simple to use. It's your choice whether you want to smudge, smudge, smudge with your finger. Of course, I've got orange on my finger. <laughs> or you want to smudge, smudge, smudge. with an applicator, with a Fantastics. And it just softens the whole look right out. So I smudged the bottom, but I didn't smudge the top. You choose, but this is just one way, one way of using them. I also could come in and paint with them. So for that, I'm gonna need my blending mat, and this is from Woodware. It comes in a really big size. I'm gonna wipe this one down comes in a in an A4 size and I've cut in half and then in half I usually splice it up into a couple different sizes so I have them and I now have the opportunity to go in and paint 
And I think I'm going to do a few more just so I have him. Stamp a couple more so they're ready to go. Do I have a doggy I want to use? Grab a dog. Hmm. He's cute. They all are cute. Now I've got some dogs to use too. So I'm going to put that over to the side and let's go back and let's paint a little bit. So painting, super easy, super fast, really depends. You've got a couple options when you do it. I'm going to palette paint. so. What if I take, what if I take that same orange? I used orange here. What if I use the same orange and I palette paint next to it so you can see the difference? So I've got some orange here. And I've got my watercolor paint brushes and some water. And I'm just gonna put some water next to it. Not on it, but next to it. and then I can make a paint. I can make a paint. And when I make a paint, it lasts quite a long time because of the brushes that I'm using. I'll grab another piece of paper. So the brushes that I'm using are by Yasutomo. And they are made, oh, that was, my See, so yeah, look at it, I got it right on it. They're made for watercoloring. They are the most beautiful watercolor brushes I've ever had. And they will, they will hold and really give you the opportunity to shadow and to shade. Let's get my orange again. So I can add water and the more water I add, the more diluted my, my crayon becomes, the lighter the color becomes. And it can ombre out. I added quite a bit of water into this so my color is super light. But if I didn't add as much water and I took more of it straight from, I'm gonna put a little bit of water down. I took more of it straight from my brush or my crayon if I went straight tip to tip I'm gonna have a completely different look. So it's gonna build that color more and it's gonna extend it even further. Let me start at the bottom. Did you see how far that went? Let me start at the bottom and see how far up I can go. So I'm taking it straight from the crayon, little water on my brush, And look at how far up I can go. That's amazing. 
That's crazy how good the brushes are that allow you, they hold enough of the pigment, enough of the water to allow you to go in and then I can go over the top of it if I want to darken it up. And I can pick up a little bit of water and pick up some more and go over the top of it if I want to darken it up. And I can go, <laughs> I can just keep going until I have the intensity of the color that I want towards the bottom. So you can start super light and then build into the color that you need with the crayons. This and this came from the same crayon. A little bit more water and I can just continually move it with one crayon I'm able to achieve all of those colors it is dependent upon whether you want to palette paint by putting it down here and using a little bit of water to pick it up and paint. Or if you want to do a tip to tip and paint. You have options. Either one of them is going to work and they're going to work beautifully. So I could come in here and pull that color and very quickly have him painted. He's a little flat because he's just one color. So then I come back in and maybe that's when I pull from my tip to come in and darken him up. And you'll see me do this quite frequently. That's me pulling either the water or the color off when I need less water so that color is even more intense. So I'm going to pull some of that off so I can shade it out. So would you prefer to use your little stubby? Now I can get him this intense. If I keep going back and layering that color in, I can get him this intense or I can mix and match and I could go in with and go straight. And now that I've got them all painted, I could go in with my tip and add a little color that way. So I've got them a little shaded more now. They're that simple to use. I could take and make beautiful backgrounds. And 
let's take maybe here. And put some crayon down and some water. And blend, blend, blend. And make a paint. And just paint to make a background. Circle, circle, circle. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Got some color going on and some water and mix. And because I've used so much water, you can see how light my color is. Maybe I just need a super soft background. And I'm layering the purple on top of the blue. Circle, circle, circle. Spritz, spritz. And paint. Now I'm just blending my colors together at this point. I'm not even worrying about what's what. I'm just mixing them all together. A little bit of purple, a little bit of blue. And you really can do just about anything you want with them. If I want more intense color, then I pull it with my paintbrush. Oh, much more intense, right? I keep my paintbrush wet and I pull that color right off of it. And it's much more intense than what I had. So tip to tip application is always going to give you a stronger color. It's too purple. Now I didn't clean my tip. I'm just going to go for it. And I can blend them together. So pretty. So you decide how you want to use them. You have options. Whether you just want to sit back and make some pretty backgrounds. Just go in there and paint, whether you want to paint a specific item, whether you want to smudge it or use your paint brushes. But what if you are so new and this is so out of your wheelhouse that you're not even sure how to start? You, you, don't, you don't even know if this is something that's doable for you. All right, well then let's make it a little bit easier.
Let's take some baby wipes. And I think I'm going to start do this one, that one, and this one. Let's try. Let's see what these look like. Take a baby wipe. Fold it up. Take the corner straight to the baby wipe, right on it. And let's make a background right on it. And then maybe I want to use some of my pink. I'm not going to change my baby wipe. I'm going to go straight over that yellow. And then straight to my paper. more pink. I add more pink. Do we dare add the blue? It makes me a little nervous, but I will. I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit. Now I'm not on watercolor paper. I'm just on, I think this is even 80 pound paper. What's the worst that happens? We make mud right over the yellow, right over the pink. I go with my blue. And I think I'm going to come back with my yellow right over my blue. So if you are new to crafting, here's your background. Go grab a sentiment, even if you have to go to your printer and print a happy birthday sentiment off your printer, put this on a card base, and you have made your first card. And I can just keep going until my heart's happy. And I'm just going right over top of the other colors. And I've made a background. Now you could use the same color and do just a solid background if you wanted, absolutely. But we've smudged, we've painted, we've painted and smudged, we've used a baby wipe, we've made ombre colors, all with the crayons that are just so simple to use. Let's see over here. I could take and now maybe I might turn my baby wipe around. Do I want to just color these and then die cut? I don't know. Do I want a little bit of yellow? bit of yellow. And then maybe a little bit of orange. He kind of looks like a hot mess. 
But what happens when we die cut them out? Do they still look like a hot mess? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I've got my little doggy. What color do I want? I just keep changing my... <laughs> what color do I want my doggy? Do we want him a little lime greeny? And then maybe a little bit of... Little yellow. And a little lime greeny. I have no idea what he's going to look like when we cut him out. But why not try? It's only paper. So if I do this one this way, and I do this one with my paintbrush, or I do it easy, easier, I even just do them smudging. Let's find my green. Just smudge them right in there. Don't want to use water? Easy peasy. And then I can take and do his nose. And my orange. And I can do his collar in my purple. And he's done. We'll have to cut them and see what they look like. No clue. Probably shouldn't have done his eyes that way, but okay. It is what it is. But you have options, I guess is the, is the, is the moral of the story here. It's technique after technique after technique, all using the same medium. And when you're given that much opportunity for this kind of price, that's holy smokes artichokes. Now let's take, let's take our, well, I've got my doggy on here, so maybe we'll just stick with our doggy. And what if I wanted to stamp with him? Well, you're like, Stacy, you just did stamp with him again and again and again. <laughs> well, let's stamp with him again. <laughs> what if I took and I colored my stamp straight? What if I just colored my stamp? And I rubbed my crayon right over the stamp. And then I gave it a little bit of a mist. Just a little bit of a mist, not a big psh, but a little psh. <laughs> I hope 
I got the top of him. And then I go down. One, two, three, A, B, C. Ah, oh, he's okay. I think I can do better than that. And I'm gonna bring my gush pad over. So I'm gonna stamp him up again. Ink him up again, only I'm using my, my distress crayon. Straight to the stamp. And then a mist. I want to make sure it got over the whole thing. Ready? One, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, better. Now I'm stamping. with my distress crayon. They do just about anything you ask of them. They really do. They make it so simple. I can clean them off and put my distress crayon all over him. and give a mist. I want to be back far enough so that I'm sure when I spray it, it goes over the whole thing. There we go, that's good. I want to be back far enough. And one, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, too much crayon. This time I need to go a little bit lighter with my crayon. I was a little heavy handed. So remind me to go a little lighter. Okay, I'm not sure I'm going any lighter. You gotta tell me to stop. <laughs> Better. You wanna stamp with your crayons? Stamp with your crayons. You wanna paint with your crayons? Paint with your crayons. You wanna smudge with your crayons? Smudge with your crayons. You want to make backgrounds with your crayons? Make backgrounds with them. It's all, it's all up to you and whatever look you're trying to achieve at, at the time. You've got some super fun colors. You want to teach a quick class? It doesn't get any easier than this. No water. Baby wipes only. Some paper. And the crayons to play with. You want to make a night sky? In no time at all, you're creating. And I almost like some of that negative space, like clouds. You want to get it darker? Hello, paintbrush. A 
little bit of water on my paintbrush straight to my crayon Go in there and get it even darker. So I'm not using multiple products. I'm using the same product multiple ways. To where if you are on a budget but you want to be able to do many different things this is it they call them crayons because in Europe they're called art crayons but they're not like a Crayola crayon. You can't go grab a Crayola crayon and get this done. That's not gonna happen. And I am not on watercolor paper. How pretty is this? Okay, there's my night sky. Now what am I going to do with it? I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> None whatsoever. But I like it. <laughs> Imagine making beautiful sunsets. Sure, you've got the yellow, you've got the orange, you've got the red. Absolutely you can. I always start with my lightest color. Always start with my lightest color. Put a nice wash of yellow. Shucks, if you just need a quick background of the solid color, there you go. Now I can take some of that orange. I think I'm gonna twist it. Feels a little dry. And just blend those two together. Maybe I want a little bit more burnt orange. I think that's what you yeah, have burning, no, burning ember. Ooh. And then maybe just a little bit of my red. Oh, that color's magnificent. And if I really want a little bit of my yellow, just to kind of make them harmonious. Pretty. So pretty. Easy.
Gosh, if I didn't want that as a sunset, it makes a great, that's good for slimline too. Wow, so easy. But we're not done yet. There's other things to be done with these. So let's take a few of these real quick and let's die cut them out. Move all my stuff over here and let's bring my die cutting machine over and let's find the dies that go with. So I've got these guys and I've got that. So let's find our little, he goes there and this one goes there because you have the dies to coordinate. So I can bring my die cutting machine over, which I've got my Sizzix Big Shot machine. It is the machine, I guess, of choice here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. It's the one I use all the time. It's the workhorse of the industry. It it outlasts, it, it, it outperforms. There's, there's nothing wrong with any of the other machines. It really is personal preference. But this machine just does everything it's supposed to do. Let's take, let's take my kitty cats. And let's just line them on up. Now I'm going to just go for it. I'm not going to tape it down. I'm just going to send it on through. And you know, because it's small, what if I used my smaller plates? I think I'm going to use my smaller plates because it's so small. You're like, smaller plates? Yes, Sizzix came out with these multi-plates. In fact, I'll put them as part of the YouTube. So it came with a full-size plate but it came with a six by six and then it came with like a two and a half by six and you got all three of them. Now I love them and if you're using a switch machine, these become your workhorse because the smaller the plate is, the less warpage you have on it. So if I'm using a smaller die and I use a smaller plate, my plate will warp less. The only thing I wasn't crazy about is to get two six by sixes, which I absolutely love. You have to buy two sets, but that's okay because then you get, then you have two full sets of, of regular size cutting pads. You have two, in fact, I could even get away with using this one. You have two smaller, but the six by six really are a workhorse. And they're just easy to use. And if you do have a switch machine, you will find that it will cut the warpage down. You'll save those big plates that your switch machine came with for something big, and you use these for everything else. So I didn't tape it down. I'm not using a magnetic platform. I'm just, I'm flying by the seat of my pants, and we'll see what happens. He's so cute. Done. One done. Now I move to my next one. So imagine if you were to have two sets because you wanted the mischievous $5.99 bundle, you could be die cutting multiples out at the same time because you would have two of all the dies. Well, that would be with only with the dog one, not with the cat one. Mischievous comes with the extra dog. Let's run it through. Nope, I moved it. I saw it move. And I could get a magnetic platform, but a magnetic platform doesn't come with your machine. I could use washi tape to hold it in place or Sizzix Maker's tape, but I'm a girl who says it's only paper. <laughs> Let's take some of the weird ones. Let's take some of the weird ones and do those. Let's 
So he kind of looks like a hot mess the way he is. But once we cut him and get rid of all that noise, all that extra color around him, he may just be super cute. That looks close enough. Oh, see, he is. See, I kind of just made a hodgepodge mess right there. But once you cut him out, looky. So cute. Now, what am I going to do with him? I have absolutely no idea. But I wanted to show you die cutting. I do like when I go, I will tell you, I like this idea of going outside the stamped image only because when I go to die cut, if I'm a little bit off, you never notice because the color is there as opposed to a white border where I accidentally missed. I didn't hit, hit the design straight on. See, I didn't, I wasn't anywhere near on the tail. Let me get a piece of paper. I wasn't anywhere near on the tail, but because I had colored outside the lines, you don't even notice it. <laughs> so here are all my different little kitties done all the different ways. using the distress crayons. I just, I, I, I hear the meow, 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 meow song in my head. <laughs> oh, look at how cute are they? <laughs> so darling, love them. All right, let's move on. Oh, I could cut out. No, stop, Stacy. Really? See, and I could put them. I could take this down just a little bit. this across here. And line up my little kitties. Oh, where's my sunset or my I have options. Do the three of them. Okay, I, I could put, I, I have options. I see, I see a finished card here. I'll, well, we'll see if I get there. If not, the girls will make it. All right, so what else do I want to do? I think I want to play a little bit with the embossing folder. Each of the sets, the dog and the cat, that come in the $14.99 bundle, also come with an embossing folder. It's a 2D embossing folder, not a 3D, but it is a Tim Holtz embossing folder. Embossing folders are easy to use. They're cost effective because they're very inexpensive. Even on their own, they range anywhere for 3D embossing folders that are pretty prevalent right now, anywhere from about eight bucks to about $13. It just depends upon the manufacturer and how much engineering they put into their embossing folder. 2Ds still give a lovely look and they're easy to use. This is a molded piece of plastic. So you keep it forever, just like the dies and the stamps. If you take care of them, 
your dies and stamps will last forever. And what I like about the embossing folders that come with this set is that they're nondescript. This does not say dog. <laughs> and this one, let's grab this one. Ooh, I taped it down to each other. Don't, don't, don't. This one does not say cat. So that the embossing folders can be used with many different things without using the dogs or the cats at all. Or you can switch them, interchange them, however it makes your heart happy. Now you put your paper inside the embossing folder and this embossing folder is indexed. And what that means is that they've printed the design on the front. They've printed the name of the manufacturer. So you know that this is your top piece. This is it. This is where you're starting. I will, well, yeah, I think I will use my longer plates just for ease because my embossing folder is almost it's an A6, so it's almost a four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a little bit longer in one direction and a little bit shorter in the other. But if you're using this with an A2, uh, A2 card base, not a problem. I've got my main base down that comes with my machine. And it tells me right here that to do a embossing folder, I don't need to use my solo shim. I needed to use this when I was doing my dies because they're wafer style dies. But for an embossing folder, I can put that off to the side. I don't need to use it right now. My embossing folder is thicker than that wafer style die. So I'm going to put a cut pad down, although that one looks really nice. It hasn't been cut into. My paper, my embossing folder with my design face up. And then my do not cut pad or another do not uh, do, uh, another cut plate. And I'm gonna send it on through. And it rolls like butter. This is so easy peasy. If this were a 3D embossing folder, my sandwich would be different. 3D embossing folders are substantially thicker than a 2D embossing folder. 2Ds, you can, you can even bend them. A 3D, oh no, but a 3D requires far more engineering, literally engineering of the design to make sure that the elements pop high enough to warrant them being called 3D. Now I've got my paper and just like that, my design is there. Not sure if you can see it or not. I'm going to do this one in the black too. They're like in black. Yeah, I'm going to do it in the black as well. What am I sticking on? There we go. So I've got my base platform, no solo shim, a cut plate, do not cut plate, doesn't make a difference. Another cut plate over the top. So your machine will come with two clear ones. So you'll be able to do this right away. Roll it through and roll it back. Now, some people really like to spritz their paper with water before they roll it. They say it gives them a much deeper emboss. It's really up to you if you want to spritz your paper or not. Some people are now taking ink pads and covering their entire paper in the ink before they emboss it. It's up to you. I am going to now take some of my baby wipes And I'm gonna start with my lightest color. And I'm just gonna go over my embossing folder lightly.
and that baby wipe is hitting it so the design is starting to pop lightly. Amazing what you can do with a baby wipe. And I'm just starting to darken my color up. But then I'm going to change my color. And again, lightly. Now look what I've got going on. But maybe I want it darker than that. And I can darken up where that embossing folder is raised. My baby wipe is just hitting it. And then, well, I went backwards, but I could try some pink. I'm just going right over the color I had before. Mm, nope, my pink's not gonna come up. Pink's not gonna show because I started my, my darker colors absorbing it in. So I'd have to use a color darker than that teal to make it show. my red which almost gives it a brown look at this point kind of like it and I just keep going over and over and over until I'm happy And what started out as white where you couldn't even see the design, now I've really got a design. Just by taking my baby wipe and going right over the top of it. And I can go back and I can continue to add until I'm happy. There's no right and there's no wrong. And right now it's just a piece of white paper that I'm using. It's very cool and very easy. And you can see that pearlescence in this one because I've got enough color down 
where you can see the pearlescence winking back at you. It's subtle, but it is there. Now I did the black one. Hmm, I could try the pink and see if my pink is going to be, because I'm starting with pink, I can see if it'll lay down on the black. Look at the iridescence. Ooh. Okay, so did you know they'd work on black paper? It's got this beautiful, beautiful iridescence to it. And now let's go with that teal, because I like the teal. I like the teal. I don't know if it'll show. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Now I know it looks like I'm using a lot, but I'm really not because I'm just taking swipes of it. Now I've got a little bit of that teal going on. Maybe some of the silver. They call it Iron Gate. Okay, that really highlights it. Like I lost my pink. That silver really highlights it. Okay, there's some of my pink back. Look at that on um, black. With a baby wipe. Oh, that's very cool. Done with an embossing folder. That's cool. Let's try this one. I'm going to do this one in black too. Gosh, if I do it this way, I can get two of them. Bring my machine over, send it on through. And let's see what this one looks like. And I think this one I'm gonna use that, what do they call it? Decayed, it looks like gold to me.
Who would have thought baby wipes could be so useful? Okay, so let's see what we get. Okay, so you can see where I've put some and where I haven't. Look at the difference. You can clearly see where I've got some of my crayon, my distress crayon. I'm lifting out where I accidentally got some in the middle. Because it's water soluble, I'm just going over it and hitting it with some water and making it like an eraser. Done. On black. Options aplenty. Let's try the silver. On black, just the silver. It's worth the $14.99 for those two alone. Let's try the silver. where I put it, where I haven't. And if I get a little bit someplace I don't want, I just go in there with my, my wet wipe and kind of wipe it out of there. Because it's water soluble, you can wipe them right off. So they don't have the 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 luster of luster wax, but they do have an easy way to use them. Wow, that's simple. That's crazy easy. This is my night sky, which is now going to become an ink blot. You know what? I'm just going to kind of move that down a little bit so it almost has a complete ombre. Now let's send it through. And now let's take that silver again. And they call it Iron Gate.
That's cool. These are easy, they're fun, they're effective, and well, for Small Business Saturday, they're affordable. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I could do this for hours, but I have a turkey to get home to, so I can't, but I could. She's like, what are you doing now? I don't know. I just love doing them. Now I've got the silver and the, <laughs> I don't know. I could do this all day long. Fun, effective, affordable, easy peasy. You have options between painting and using your, your baby wipe or taking them straight from the straight from your little brush your little fantastics and schmoozing Add a little extra color here and there. Are you into die cutting? Are you into embossing? Are you into stamping? Are you into coloring and just playing like me? And then I'll figure out what to do with it all later. <laughs> I just love to make backgrounds and all sorts of things. And then they kind of find their way together. So now I can come in and I can schmooze some color on there. Do it on, on the black. The black is amazing. And I can just smush some color and add a little bit of something. Fun. And hopefully, hopefully a few things. Hopefully manufacturers won't assume for me. They'll let me have the opportunity to see everything and make decisions that's best for our customers and our business because because they don't know what I'm sitting on. They don't know what I've seen from somebody else that's going to work so perfectly with theirs. They don't know. Aren't they so cute? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. Aren't they so cute? They have no idea what I need or what you want sometimes. And without knowing what is out there and without seeing it and without giving the opportunity to say yes or no, well, it kind of takes some of it away. It takes some of the magic away of things that we get to offer you. Ooh, wrong color. So just like that salesperson assumed that my dad would have absolutely no interest in those seconds and and misprints for the practice gear by my dad getting that practice gear it allowed it allowed more people to craft well it allowed more people to play football is what it did so remember bundle number one is made up of the cats the dogs the stamps the dies the embossing folders and the four sets of the Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. That's bundle number one. Retails for over $75. Your price is 
$14.99 while supplies last. Bundle number two is Mischievous Cats and another set of the dogs. Now it doesn't hurt to have two sets. That means you have two embossing folders, two dies, two stamps of everything. You can do everything twice as fast or, and you would end up having your mischievous cats, which you may not own. And those are $22.99 by themselves. Or you give this as a gift or you split them and you give them as a gift. But for $5.99 for both, I just don't see how you can go wrong. I will go ahead and put the Fantastics on sale, we have limited quantities here, and I'm only going to put what we have here so we can expedite ship. And I will put the Woodware Blending Mat on sale. We have limited quantities here. I'll only put what we have in stock so that we can immediate ship. And same with the Color Pad inks. I'll put those on and but immediate ship so it, I can only do so many what we have physically here in stock and I guess we should do the paint the brushes too these are the Yasutomo watercolor brushes this is how they come in a bamboo there's five they're so affordable for what they are they really are amazing they're the best watercolor brushes we've ever had at Scrapbooking Made Simple, and yet I think they sell for under $30. And that includes, I think it's somewhere around $30, that includes the storage case. Now when your brushes are wet, you don't put them in with the lids on, you keep the lids off. And because this is bamboo, it air dries your brushes for you roll it around and seal it up so as long as I can get these these are going to be the brushes the watercolor brushes that we use all right so let me show you samples so again the bundles one two three four so one the two and the four bundle number one bundle number two fantastics brushes, blending mat, ink. That's what's in this YouTube. Let me show you samples. So the woof woof is part of the stamp set. You get woof woof, you get hello friend, and I rough you as part of the stamp set that comes with the doggies. Ooh, look at the colors. That's amazing. On black, crazy. I think that's the probably the yellow or the green. Crazy. I rough you, look at how cute is he. And these were all done with the Tim Holtz Distress Blending or Crayons. Aren't they cute? Here they schmooshed. They did the back. The back's in that kind of gold. I think they call it decayed. You've got the, the cat, the little bottles of milk, all done using the Distress Crayons. Hello, friend. And then they just used the uh, Distress Crayons on this one, just to make a tag using the crayons. And then we come over here. And here they've just used the dogs and the cats. And the what's up? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> yeah, see? Doggy's surrounded by the cats, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Hello friend, look at how cute is this? The embossing folder, the doggies, the stamps, all done with the crayons. Meow, 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 this one's darling too. Again, done with the crayons. 
the stamps, the dies. Here I've got one where they just used the crayons. They smudge, smudge, smudge. Even this was smudge, smudge, smudged with the Tim Holtz crayons. And this one was painted with the Tim Holtz crayons. All right, that's beautiful. And then Claire, Claire, she outdid herself on this one. Look at this. Holy smokes, artichokes. You've got the crayon. Can you see the crayons going on? This is all done with the crayons. And they were all colored with the crayons. And last but not least, I have a layout for you. These are Claire's, <laughs> Claire's crazy critters. You go back. So these are Claire's, SMS girl Claire, where she's done the backgrounds with smudging. She's done all the little animals with smudging. She's smudged here to get the background. These are all of her fur babies. In a darling, darling layout. All right, you guys, that's it for today. You're like, wait, what? That's it for today. I gotta get all this stuff on sale. Well, it should be visible already for you. Let me tilt on back. It's small, oh, I can feel the heat on my face. <laughs> it's Small Business Monday. I hope, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I hope you see the value in what we're trying to offer you. I hope that if you're a manufacturer, please don't assume. No, 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 no. <laughs> and if you are ever out, same thing. Try not to make an assumption. You just never know, right? You just never know. And if it wasn't for my dad saying, but wait, what's in those boxes? And finally he said, are they for sale? And that's when he got the guy's attention. So that's kind of how I did it. Are they for sale or are they for sale? Somet that, is, that is my motto sometimes here at Scrapbooking Made Simple when I'm negotiating. And, and, and they're saying, well, we can't sell you all of them. I'm like, but are they for sale or are they for sale? I'm not understanding. So I held the dies for a full year to wait to find something that went with them. And these crayons just were so perfect. And then for $14.99, are we are, are, are we are we making a zillion dollars? Of course not. You should know that. <laughs> How can you charge $14.99 for um, this kind of quantity of product? But does it make my heart happy knowing that more of you can afford it who wouldn't be able to do that at $75? That is well worth the price of admission for me. I hope I hope that you learned something today. I hope you remembered something today. I hope you just had a good time today. And thank you so much for being with me all the way through my many journeys and my many stories. It is from those, those memories and those stories that guide me the way, the, what I hope is the right way for not just me, but for all of you too. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Yes, I have to go and get the turkey out. Otherwise, I'd keep going, but I can't. Otherwise, we will not have Thanksgiving dinner, and I'm not ready to order Chinese tonight. <laughs> You'll find all of this product at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. The bundles are exclusively here. When they're gone, they're gone. Please follow the directions if you want expedited shipping. It's in the category. And if you do a pay later and you want it shipped quickly, we will start shipping on Monday, but you must call us to make payment. Otherwise, I will not know you want it expedited. We will not be sending out invoices, PayPal invoices for this until our normal standard shipping time frame. So call us. 
and there will be a date in there that your order must be paid for to qualify for expedited shipping. So if you call me two and a half weeks from now, I can't expedite your order. At that point, all of them will have been shipped. All right, you guys. Again, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you on Monday for our next Make It Monday event. And then in December, all of our Make It Mondays are warehouse sale. So stay tuned. I'll have more information about that soon. Bye, everybody.